Chris Kobach has won his primary very close race here. About a week after they voted, the Kansas governor conceding last night to his Trump back challenger. Kobach narrowly edging out Jeff Collier in that primary battle. Now it's on in November for him. And first, before that happens, he joins me live in Topeka, Kansas. Congratulations to you and thank you for your time. I, I mean, this was really close. The president endorsed you a day before the vote. Is that what puts you over the top? I think it had a huge impact. There's no question, uh, certainly on election day voting, uh, we did very well. And that's part of the reason why when the, the provisional ballots were counted, uh, they went in our favor. And I think the president's endorsement uh, affected a lot of people's decisions uh, on that day, election day, because, of course, he endorsed me the day before. So no doubt it had a huge impact. So he's uh, tweeted again about you. Here it is on screen. He writes, my friend and very early supporter, Chris Kobach, won the Republican nomination for governor of Kansas last night in a tough race against a very fine opponent. Chris will win in November and will be a great governor. He has my complete and total endorsement. What's the issue in Kansas, knowing how strong you are on immigration? You're in lockstep in the president pretty much on that issue. Your opponent, you could have argued, was not, seemed to be more of an established candidate. What do you think the voters in Kansas are saying because of this? You know, I think voters in Kansas do see illegal immigration as a big problem. And it's not just Republicans. Kansas is a destination state for illegal immigration. So we see a lot of people working in meatpacking plants, working in construction in some of our larger cities. Uh, and so there's a, and, and we're also a transition state. Some of our highways see a lot of illegal alien smuggling uh, to the East Coast uh, and to other parts of the country. So uh, we're definitely affected heavily by it. And of course, my uh, alliance with President Trump on illegal immigration and advising him is part of it. But my other big message has been uh, taxes. We actually are the high tax state in the, uh, this part of the Midwest. Okay, you face Democrat Laura Kelly. There's also an independent candidate. We'll see how this goes. What did you think about the results from last night? Mich uh, sorry, Wisconsin, Minnesota, a little bit in the Northeast. How do you evaluate the results we're seeing? Well, there is some consistency in uh, people rejecting more establishment-oriented candidates. I think the, the country is in the mood for a change, and not in the traditional mood for a change where people are rejecting the sitting president. I think each state is its own battleground, but there does seem to be a current where a lot of the candidates like me who are challenging the establishment, who are trying to shake things up a little bit, uh, are winning these elections. And that tells me that there's a, a common thread through a lot of these races. Okay, but that would be on both sides. Do you agree or just the Republicans? Uh, certainly on the Republican side. I'm, I'm less well versed in how Democrat primaries work their way out, but uh, certainly I sense that in, in, among Republican politics. Greg Orman is the independent candidate. Three way race. We'll see how it turns yes. out, okay? Thank you for your time, and I hope you come on yeah. back, okay? Will do. Thank Chris you. Chris Kobach, thank you.